Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Mike Davies and in today's video I'll be showing you how to copy or duplicate a layer mask from one layer and move it on to another layer in GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.20 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here. You can get more with a premium membership, and I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimschool.com. And as I mentioned, you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial today, but a common question is how do I move a layer mask from one layer to another layer? Here I am inside of GIMP 2.10.20. I have two layers here in my composition. I'm not gonna spend too much time on actually creating a layer mask. I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to layers and layer masks. So if you wanna learn more on those subjects, definitely check that out. So the gist of what I'm gonna do for this tutorial is quickly remove this background behind our model. That's going to reveal this sort of 80s background design. So let me unhide this layer here. So the very basics of adding a layer mask is to come down here at the bottom of the layers panel and click this icon. So here we can add a layer mask. The most basic layer mask is white full opacity. You click add. White is going to display full transparency. So that's not really gonna do anything yet. I could, for example, grab my paintbrush tool and anywhere that I paint black with this paintbrush tool is going to create transparency. So that's going to erase the image background. Let me hit Control Z to back up though. I've already done this ahead of time. So what I've done, I'll come over here to the Paths tab. I drew a path using my Paths tool around my subject. So I'll hold Control, zoom out with my mouse wheel. I'm just going to come over and convert this path to a selection area. I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to mastering the paths tool if you wanna learn that tool. But I'll come over to the layers tab and I'm just going to right click, delete layer mask, and then right click on here, add layer mask. And I'm going to base the layer mask off of the selection I just drew. So that was created from that paths tool. So now I'll come over here and click add. Now we have a layer mask in the shape of our selection area, which is the shape of our model. I'll hit Control shift a to deselect that. So here you can see our layer mask and I can view this better by clicking this little menu. We'll go to preview size and let's go with extra large. So there you can see the layer mask. Let me come back to the paths tab, hide that tab or hide that path. Let's say I had another layer and I wanted to transfer this layer mask over to that layer. So what I'll do is come over, let's create a new layer. I'm gonna to try to do this fairly quickly. I'll name this layer gradient, fill it with transparency and click OK. I'll hit the G key on my keyboard to grab the gradient tool. I'll change my foreground color to this light blue color, which you guys can copy using this HTML notation. Let's come over to the background color, go with this pinkish color. Make sure that our gradient type is set to foreground and background RGB. Shape is to linear. So let's click and drag this. That'll create a gradient. Hit the enter key. There is the gradient layer that we wanna use. So let's say we want to now mask out the gradient in this shape. What I'll do is click on the layer mask, right click, go to mask to selection. Come back over here to this gradient layer, right click, add layer mask, and go with selection. That will totally copy that layer mask there to this other layer. That's gonna be the simplest way to do this inside of GIMP. There's another way to do this as well if you wanna access a selection area for a layer mask later. So I still have this selection area selected here from a second ago. If I wanted to save this and use this at a later time, I can come over here to my channels dialog, come down here and click to create a new channel, go with initialize from selection, I set the fill width opacity to zero using the slider here because we don't need that. And I did name this model layer mask, by the way. You can name this whatever you want. Click OK. Now we have a channel in the shape of our layer mask. We don't need this to be visible. We can just hide that. Now I'll hit Control Shift A to deselect that. 
So that's how you can save selection areas or layer masks to use at a later time. So I'll come back over here to the layers panel. Of course, I also have this saved in the shape of a path tool, but you may not always be using the path tool, so you may not have that path available. So now how do we access that channel if we want to use it? Let's create a new layer. We'll name this gradient two, click OK. This time we'll just reset this to black and white and draw a black and white gradient. Hit the enter key, right click on here, go to add layer mask, and we'll choose channel. There you'll see our custom channel we created and I'll click add. Now we've created three different layers using a copy of that layer mask I created at the beginning of the tutorial. I also want to point out that this does work with gradient layer masks, but it can be a bit confusing at first. If you want to know why this is going to be confusing, I recommend checking out my tutorial on selection areas. But let me demonstrate why this can be confusing by creating a layer group to start with. And let's just click and drag this into the layer group. Let's click and drag the first gradient we created into the layer group as well. So you can add layer masks to layer groups, which is what we're going to do here. So let's say we right click on here and go to add layer mask and create a white layer mask. So I'll click add and we still have the gradient tool selected here. So let's say we draw a gradient from the top to the bottom and that is going to cause these two layers inside of the layer group to both contain this gradient layer mask, which basically means it's going to fade out as it goes towards the black here in the gradient. So let's just hit the enter key. Now we have a gradient layer mask there and that creates this cool fade effect. I can still copy this to another layer using the same technique we've talked about. So I'll right click, go to mask to selection. The confusing thing about this is it looks like the selection stops right here. The reason for this is that everything outside the selection area is going to be less than 50% opacity. Again, I do cover this in my selection areas tutorial, which I will link to this video. But although it looks kind of messed up right now, it will actually transfer over properly. So just for demonstration purposes, let's click on here, right click, go to add layer mask, initialize layer mask to selection and click add. And there you can see now this has that same layer mask and it's fading from the white to the black. Let me hit control Z. I just want to demonstrate right click, add layer mask. You can also invert this. So that's going to do the opposite of what it's doing right now. That means down here will be visible and it'll fade as it goes upwards. So I'll click add. There you can see the result of that. So over here we have black on the top fading to white on the bottom. So I'll hit control shift A to deselect that. For those of you wondering, no, you cannot simply click and drag a layer mask from one layer to another like you can do in other programs. However, I have seen in some forums that some people have brought this up, myself included. So it is on the GIMP team's radar. Hopefully that feature will be implemented into GIMP soon. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.